Hello students, I hope you are doing beautiful mathematics. In this particular video, we will learn more about algebra for mathematical olympiads and ISI CMI entrances. I will teach you a particular technique in polynomials that is very useful for many, many problems. As usual, we will learn it using a problem from Indian Statistical Institute's BSTAD B Math entrance. It's a very beautiful problem. The problem says that there is a number x which is equal to 1 plus 5th root of 2, 5th root of 4, 5th root of 8, 5th root of 16. All of these things added together. And we want to find out the value of 1 plus 1 over x raised to the power 30. If you are an internal student of Chinta, then you may have seen this problem in our five days a week problem solving classes. If you are not attending the problem solving classes, I strongly recommend that you do. Most of the success that we have had in contests like IOQM, American Math Competition or ISI CMI entrances are from the students who attend the five days a week problem solving sessions. Check the link in the description for more detail on our beautiful programs on Mathematical Olympiads, Physics Olympiad, Computer Science Olympiad, Research Program and so on. Let's see how we can solve this using a very, very important algebraic identity. The identity is this, that if you have any number A and let's say you have a number N raised to the power N, minus 1, then this can be factorized as a minus 1 times a to the power n minus 1, a to the power n minus 2, up to a plus 1. And you can easily check that this is true by simply multiplying the things out. If you multiply a with all of these terms, you will see you'll have a to the power n, a to the power n minus 1, up to a squared plus a. And if you multiply minus 1 with everything, minus 1 with everything, then you will have minus a to the power n minus 1, minus a squared minus a minus 1. If you add things up, everything's will can everything will cancel off and you will have a to the power n minus 1, which is what we started off with. So this is a very important factorization that has been used in many, many problems. And we will use it in this problem as well. So let's get back to this particular expression. I will copy this expression and paste it here. And let's rewrite it in a way we can recognize a pattern. So let's take a equals to 2 to the power 1 by 5. You will immediately see that we can rewrite x as 1 plus a plus a square plus a cube plus a to the power 4. We can rewrite a like this, x like this. Can you tell me in the comment section, why is this true? Why is it true that a to the power 4 is 5th root of 16? a cubed is 5th root of 8. a squared is 5th root of 4. Why is this true? Can you explain it to me in the comment section? Okay, so now we immediately see a match with the previous factorization that we just talked about, this one. Only in this case, n should be equal to 5. So let's try that. a to the power 5 minus 1 is equal to a minus 1 times 1 plus a plus a squared plus a cubed plus a to the power 4. Remember, a is 
this. In this particular expression, A is 2 to the power 1 fifth. So, this part is X. So, A to the power 5 minus 1 by A minus 1 is X. So, what is A to the power 5 minus 1? A is 2 to the power 1 fifth. So, A to the power 5 minus 1 is 2 to the power 1 fifth to the power 5 minus 1, which is 2 minus 1, which is 1. So, what we see is 1 by A minus 1 is X or 1 by X is equal to A minus 1 or in other words, A is 1 plus 1 over X. That's it. We found that A, the value of A is same as 1 plus 1 over X. We want to find out 1 plus 1 over x raised to the power 30. That is a to the power 30. Since a is 2 to the power 1 fifth, and we want to find out 1 plus 1 by x to the power 30, which is a to the power 30, it's just one line of calculation. Can you tell me the final answer in the comment section? Thank you for watching this video. If you are interested in mentoring for Ivy League universities, if you are interested in Olympiads, research, leadership opportunities, then check the link in the description and join Chinta community. You can, we can together work toward this dream of studying at some of the best universities in the world, such as Harvard, MIT, Oxford, ISI, CMI, TIFR. Many of our students have done it. They do it regularly. I'm sure we can work together and create something wonderful. Thank you for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one. All the best. Keep on doing great problems. Bye.